This morning in Legal Logic, we are talking about the ransomware cyber attack going on all over the world right now. Here to talk about the legal ramifications is attorney Brian Kuna. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Will. Nice to see you. Nice this, to see you. Now, the, the U.S. did get hit with this attack, but it could have been much, much worse. It could have been much worse. There was actually some uh, amateur hacker in right. England that found the, the, the solution to uh -huh. it, which is really, really interesting. And right. he just did it, you know, it was kind of a, a, kind of a mistake. Yeah. And he just found a URL and turned it off, thank God. I mean, 150 countries were hit. And this was really, really bad. I mean, yes. so, so what are the criminals behind this attack actually looking for? Money. Right. <laughs> like everybody. Right, like they're everybody. Looking, they're looking for money. Mm -hmm. And as a practical matter, they're probably going to get it. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no way to de-encrypt once your data is encrypted. And the, the experience, believe it or not, even though these guys are criminals, <laughs> is if you pay the $300 through Bitcoins, uh, you know, Bitcoins is a really weird thing that nobody really yeah, understands. It's kind of like the internet money currency yeah, that, that people are using. It's, there's 21 million Bitcoins in the world. The, that's it. Yep. And they're worth like 1700 bucks a piece. And you can buy percentages of them. But you've got to go online and it's, it's totally anonymous and you buy these things and the criminals get them. But, but you do have to, in order to get your stuff de-encrypted, you really have to pay that. They say don't do it. Right. If you don't do it, you're not getting your data back. Well, one of the other things, the stories this morning, is Disney was also hit because the criminals are saying, we hit you and we may release uh, the, the new Pirates, Pirates movie that's <laughs> yeah. coming up if you don't pay up. These are kind of interesting criminals because they, <laughs> they say that they're actually helping some people. Like, they, they get on, online and help them decrypt their stuff once they paid their right. $300. Yeah, it was really interesting. So how successful are these, these people who are doing this? We hear these yeah. stories all the time of things are being held for ransom. Some police stations have been, have been hit in the past where they have had to pay up. But is it actually successful and is it making money for these people who are who the hackers? Well, they say so far in this last hit, $60,000 has been paid, uh, 200, 200, 200 people. Um, but yeah, I, I know last year, um, I know of two police stations in Massachusetts right. that got hit. Yeah, I remember that. And they, and they paid. Mm -hmm. They paid the $300. I think it was $1,000 they had to pay. Right. But they paid it. Um, so $60,000, they say that $60,000 is sitting there right now. Actually. So what can people do to, to, to stop this or to protect themselves? Now, I know this time around it was, it was a flaw in the Windows um, applications. Get so that new, was one of the get things. Get a new national, national security agency. <laughs> <laughs> you, but they, you know, well, you got to keep, the, the best thing to do is have an offline computer mm -hmm. where your stuff is backed up automatically every day. Right. If your stuff's backed up, you're okay, but you can't be online because if you're online, that you're will also be... You're defeating the whole purpose. You, you, right, that will be right. encrypted as well. Right. So that's the best thing. Also, keep up with your with your Microsoft patches. I, they, did patch come out with, right. they did come out with one. Um, but they're yep. pretty mad at the NSA that lost yeah. the, 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 I bet. Uh, the I thing. Bet. Yeah. So back up all your stuff. Thanks so much, back Brian, for coming yep. in today. If you would like even more legal tips from Brian Kuhn and Associates, just head on over to Roadshow.com and click on the Legal Logic channel.